the windswept plains of Patagonia, southern Argentina, have long hidden secrets beneath their rocky surface. But sometimes, nature reveals something extraordinary, a glimpse into a lost world at the end of the age of dinosaurs. Recently, a new giant predator was unearthed, offering a fresh perspective on the diversity of life in the southern hemisphere. This meat-eater, an abelisaurid, roamed Patagonia about 70 million years ago, sharing its world with the famous Carnotaurus. The discovery challenges the idea that Carnotaurus was the only top predator here. Instead, it reveals a richer, more complex ecosystem, like finding a second lion on the Serengeti. Every new fossil is a puzzle piece, helping scientists reconstruct the vibrant world just before the mass extinction. This new predator comes from the La Colonia Formation, a snapshot of life before the asteroid struck. Its presence proves dinosaurs were still evolving and thriving, not fading away. The journey began with a single bone fragment, leading to questions about how two large predators coexisted. Did they hunt different prey? Did they avoid each other? Each discovery sparks new questions and rewrites what we know. Science is a process of constant discovery, and this Patagonian giant is a reminder of how much there is left to learn. As we dig deeper into its story, we uncover more about the history of life on Earth. The awakening of this new giant is just the beginning. Every dinosaur's name tells a story, and this new predator is no exception. Scientists named it Kolekin in Akayali, drawing from the Toosian language. Kolekin means from clay and water, a nod to the ancient estuary where it was found. Inakayali honors a Tehuelche leader, connecting the dinosaur to the region's human history. Naming isn't just about classification, it's about respecting the land and its people. Kolekin was a formidable abelisaurid, a group of top predators in the southern hemisphere. Walking on two powerful legs, with a large head and sharp teeth, it was built for hunting. Its name now marks a new branch on the dinosaur family tree, enriching our understanding of Patagonia's past. With Kolekan, scientists can now tell a more complete story of this ancient ecosystem. The process of naming gives identity to the past and connects discoveries across the world. Kolekan in Akayali is now part of the global conversation about dinosaur evolution. The story of Kolekin began in 2012, with a single toe bone spotted in the La Colonia Formation. To most, it looked like a rock, but to paleontologists, it was a clue to something much bigger. Careful excavation revealed a partial skeleton, vertebrae, a hip, a nearly complete tail, and both legs. The bones were found articulated, still connected as they were in life, a rare and valuable find. This suggests the dinosaur was buried quickly, perhaps by a flood, preserving it for millions of years. The team worked meticulously, using brushes and picks to free the fragile bones from stone. Once excavated, the fossils were transported to the museum, where preparators spent years cleaning and stabilizing them. Only then could scientists begin their analysis, piecing together Colican's anatomy and story. The journey from a single bone to a museum specimen is a testament to scientific dedication. Each step, from fieldwork to lab, is crucial in bringing ancient creatures back to life. Kolekin's discovery is a reminder of the patience and passion behind every fossil find. It's not just about finding bones, it's about unlocking the secrets they hold. And with Kolekin, those secrets are rewriting what we know about Patagonia's prehistoric world. Once assembled, Kolekin's skeleton revealed a dinosaur, both familiar and strange. Like other abelisaurids, its arms were comically tiny, fused, clawless and utterly useless for hunting. But its skull set it apart. Instead of Carnotaurus's horns, Kolekin had a large, rough bump on its forehead. The purpose of this bump is still a mystery. Display, combat, or something else entirely? Kolekin was slightly smaller than Carnotaurus, suggesting they hunted different prey and avoided direct competition. This is niche partitioning in action. Two predators evolving differences to share the same environment. Perhaps Carnotaurus hunted giant sauropods, while Kolekin targeted smaller dinosaurs. The diversity among abelisaurids, horns, bumps, sizes shows a dynamic, evolving ecosystem. Just before the asteroid, Patagonia was teeming with specialized predators, not in decline. Kolekin's unique features highlight the evolutionary creativity of the late Cretaceous. Its discovery proves the abelisaurid family was more varied than we ever imagined. Each new trait tells us about survival strategies and ancient behaviors. Kolekin is a testament to the adaptability and diversity of dinosaurs at the end of their reign. It's a peculiar dinosaur, 
with a story that deepens our understanding of prehistoric life. And it reminds us that even the strangest features can have a purpose in evolution. Colecan is part of the Abelisauridae, the apex predators of Gondwana during the late Cretaceous. While tyrannosaurs ruled the north, Abelisaurids dominated the south, evolving unique features for their environments. Carnotaurus, with its iconic horns, was a close relative, but Colecan's rough forehead bump set it apart. These differences suggest visual display was important, perhaps for attracting mates or intimidating rivals. Majungasaurus from Madagascar, another abelisaurid, had its own distinctive head ornamentation. Comparing Colican to its relatives helps scientists refine the dinosaur family tree and understand evolutionary relationships. Abelisaurids were likely fast ambush predators, relying on powerful jaws and legs, not their tiny arms. Their skulls were strong yet lightweight, built for quick forceful bites. The coexistence of Colecan and Carnotaurus shows how a successful body plan could be adapted in different ways. Multiple large predators thrive side by side, each filling a unique role in the ecosystem. Colican's discovery adds a new dimension to the story of Ablisaurid evolution. Why did giants like Colican have such tiny, useless arms? Ablisaurids took this trait to the extreme. Colican's arms were stubs, fused and clawless. The leading theory their vestigial, evolutionary leftovers from ancestors with functional arms. As abelisaurids evolved to rely on their massive heads and jaws, the arms shrank from disuse. Evolution doesn't always remove features that aren't needed, especially if they cause no harm. Some speculate the arms were for display or balance, but there's little evidence. The truth remains a mystery, highlighting how much we still have to learn. Colican confirms that tiny arms were a consistent feature for this entire branch of predators. For millions of years, abelisaurids thrived without using their forelimbs. Their strategy? Invest in powerful heads and legs, leaving arms behind. Evolution can take strange paths, producing creatures both fearsome and bizarre. Colican's arms are a reminder of nature's unpredictability. For years, dinosaur stories focused on North America, but Patagonia is changing that narrative. Here, fossils reveal a world with its own cast of giants and predators, like Colecan in Akayali. During the late Cretaceous, Gondwana's isolation led to unique evolutionary paths. Abelisaurids ruled the south, while Titanosaurs, giant long-necked herbivores, dominated the landscape. The La Colonia Formation, where Colecan was found, preserves a rich estuary ecosystem. Alongside dinosaurs, it held turtles, crocodiles, snakes, and early birds and mammals. Colican's discovery helps scientists reconstruct the food web and dynamics of this lost world. It raises new questions about how resources were divided among predators. Patagonian fossils are rewriting the global story of dinosaurs, showing incredible diversity until the very end. Colican stands as a symbol of the untold stories still buried in the southern hemisphere. Colican in Akayali is more than just a new dinosaur. It's a window into Earth's deep past. Each fossil find adds a piece to the puzzle of life's history, revealing complexity and diversity we never imagined. Colican challenges old ideas, showing dinosaurs were thriving and evolving right up to the end. Its discovery sparks new questions and inspires further exploration. Fossils like Colican teach us about adaptation, extinction and the resilience of life. They remind us that our world has changed dramatically and will continue to do so. The quest to understand dinosaurs is a quest to understand ourselves and our planet's story. Colican's tale is a thrilling chapter, fueling curiosity and the drive to keep searching. Somewhere, the next discovery waits, ready to change everything we thought